first train to cross Newnham Viaduct in 10 weeks. The railway between Didcot and Oxford was closed in April for emergency repairs after significant movement was detected in the 160-year-old South Bank abutment. Since then, 800 people have worked nearly 60,000 hours to repair the viaduct and reinstate the railway. Since this vital line was closed on the 3rd of April, a huge undertaking has been happening here. We're working 24-7 with trusted supply chain and many, many people with a wide variety of skills. We've removed the track, we've dragged up the bridge, we've put piles in the river, we've demolished the old abutment and built back up over the last eight weeks. Once we removed the old abutment, we discovered that the ground underneath it was springy, like a trampoline. That meant that the new piles had to be driven 19 metres deep into the riverbank to ensure stability. To get the 150 tonne crane into the right place for the piling, we had to build a road across the fields and a strengthened platform next to the river where the crane would sit. We also had to build a pontoon and barge to transport materials across the river and into the right place underneath the viaduct. Over the last 67 days, we've installed 66 piles, reinstated four and a half thousand tonnes of earth to bring up the railway to this level. I'd like to thank everybody who has worked here over the past eight weeks, worked incredibly hard. Balfour BT is the principal contractor and their fantastic supply chain. I'd also like to thank the passenger and freight operating companies and extend this to the passengers and the local community for their support and patience as we get to hand back the railway. Usually a project of this scale would take around three years to complete, but thanks to the dedication and determination of our talented teams, we are extremely pleased to be safely reopening this vital stretch of railway ahead of schedule.